What's up, Moto Buddies? Mike here from Taco Moto Co. Baja Taco Tours. Today we're going to do another episode of What's on My Desk. Except I'm not at my desk today. I haven't been at my desk for like all week. I'm right now at the AIM Motorsports Show in Las Vegas, the AIM Expo. Uh, last day, about an hour before I close out. That's why no one's here, really. It's been very busy. So this is day three. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday, an hour before close. So people are wandering off, they're out to lunch, the show's shutting down. It's been very busy and it's a very successful show. A lot of industry guys are here, a lot of the big brands. I'm looking at the Maxxis setup, KTM had all their brands here, uh, Suzuki's over there. I forget, I don't think Honda was here, but all of the, all the, the big aftermarket brands that you probably running your bike right now are here and a lot of interesting things there's a few components new things that we saw that we learned about that we're going to add to our bike and do some long-term testing so for right now what's on mike's desk is these little this is the y pipe so the y pipe on your stock bike so this is a 23 the new chassis this is this is how it's set up on the new chassis so it'd be 23 plus on the motocross bike and then the 24 enduro plus are going to get this and so there's two different versions of the t the t pipe the y pipe you've got the standard through and this is no obstruction this has got an o-ring that threads into the bottom of the t so if you have the motocross version any of the bikes right now that don't have a thermostat on them they get this down too and then this is what's really interesting and why we're talking about this in the first place if you are gonna get one of the 24 plus. This is this is the new version. The 24 plus bikes are gonna have the thermostat built into the downpipe. And that's a very clever packaging arrangement. So the bottom of the frame, this is the part that will come down to the bottom of the frame. And that will connect to the tube that then, the hose rather, that takes it into the rest of the engine. So this has been an interesting little discovery. Uh, since we're at Samco, I'll show you what a T-pipe without, so this would be a T-pipe from Samco, and if you're going to do a thermostat delete on one of those enduro bikes, then you would you would add this, and that gives you silicone all the way down and then metal. So you remove, so you do a couple of things, you remove all the plastic, which is what the stock stuff is, you remove a leak point here, which is where that O-ring is. There have been some reports that these threads, that the installation at the factory, these were too tight, and so you had some some, some cracking uh, of the head here. This 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 part is where you had some cracking and some leaking. And so some of the bikes, just just some intermittent reports about them, but there have been some leaks, and it's because of that. So if you upgrade to the Samco hose, then you eliminate all that, and you get a silicone. These are almost like lifetime hoses. We, as you know, we advocate for leaving the thermostat on most bikes. So the enduro bikes, which are essentially four season bikes, we advocate leaving the thermostat in. And so this would be something that we would leave on our bikes. Um, and then the motocross bikes are by riders. Those are gonna be ridden by riders who are very aware of the importance of running coolant temp uh, at the correct and appropriate levels. And so they'll do things like block off one side of the radiator or just do temperature management to keep everything in check. But as far as the enduro bikes, those are four season machines and I don't want to be fooling around with changing and adding, not changing, but adding uh, something across the, the, oh, the front of the radiator to manage airflow to keep the temps up. So that's what this guy is. We talked about the Samco. Right now, we're so our bike, this is our 450. It's got some show graphics on it. They're pretty wild and loud. That's intentional. It's, it's not for everybody. It's a little bit, it's a little crazy and we know that. Very eye catching, and that was for the purpose of having it here at the booth, just to bring people in and talk about the Samco hose, the Samco product, and that's that's um, the best hose. Samco hoses, they uh, have educated me a lot on how these are made. And if you go to the Samco website, you'll see these are handmade, these are hand built. All of the strengthening bands here that you see, this material, this outer material, and even though they. <laughs> This is my short-term memory. Even though they told me what the names of all these things are, I've completely forgotten. But there is a there's a wrap that they do. This this initial core, the blue here, the blue is because these are coolant hoses. This material is basically like soft and malleable, kind of silly putty, and it's in a sheet that they roll into the shape around a jig, and then they put the fibrous material. So this is just some like nylon strengthening in a second band, and then they 
code it. And instead of hearing me tell it badly, describe the process badly, Samco has some YouTube videos and we'll probably end up putting a link of how they're made. But these, all these Samco hoses are hand assembled. These are not, uh, there's some Asian import hoses that are less costly, uh, but they're not gonna have the durability. So on our bikes, whenever we have occasion to change the hoses, and that's, that's pretty much on all the bikes, we will run Samco hose product. And that's what we've got here. And on this, this is the older gen style bike. This is the 2323 generation chassis. And so it's the previous gen. And that's the thermostat right there. So it's a little more fussy with additional leak points potentially with different hoses going in different directions. So the new style will be the bottom where this where this top hose is and that green hose right there that's where the new the new style bike thermostat will come out and that's where this hose will connect and those bikes will be less fussy in this area because of uh, the, the new thermostat architecture that's a nice improvement um, so if you came by the booth and saw us here and we met you it was fun seeing you and thanks for stopping by and if we didn't get a chance to meet you there'll be other events that we'll be at throughout the, the rest of the calendar year next one will probably be in Flagstaff Arizona at the Overland Expo that's probably I think the next calendar event so you can come and find us there and see us and ask us any questions we may have about any, any products or components that we make or that we work on or have some expertise on or happy to meet you happy to talk to you and uh, check out Samco we carry Samco for the QTM products and they're always always have been and always will be our first choice for hose upgrades and hose coolant products on the bikes so thanks for checking it out like and subscribe go out and get some adventure